Hi, my name is Kat Torres and welcome to this 2015 Charger Men's Golf Season Preview. We're here with Head Coach Nate Gilchrist and we're going to talk about the season coming up. Coach, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Alright, so let's get started. Um, so last year you were the associate coach of the golf team and this year you're making the transition to head coach. So what about last year can you take into this year? Um, last year was really important. It was good to actually be on campus a year earlier than we expected to, to learn the the in and outs of what really goes on in a, in a college golf program and so much I had to learn so much regarding the institution and and recruiting and the organization of of a team keeping the team together balancing their practice schedules tournament schedules with with the rigor of Hillsdale College's academics and it so I just I learned a lot it was a lot more than I anticipated I played college golf, but I only remember going to practice and two tournaments and then doing my schoolwork. These the stuff that happens behind the scenes. Um, there's more of that to do than there actually is once we get to practice. So um, it was it was a good a welcoming transition now and having a year under my belt and having good assistance. Uh, coach Harner who was the head coach still is actively involved but having him as a as a guiding light is is wonderful. So what surprised you the most about, what, what from last year, what was the most surprising thing? Um, from, from last year to this year or just last just year? Just in general, I guess. Um, the administrative stuff that goes on inside the office that is uh, it's never ending. Um, part of me thought I might be like high school teachers where they're busy through a school year or even high school coaches and then their summer they're very laid back and relaxed. There is some preparation to do for the upcoming season but it's it's a lot busier than I anticipated, which is okay. I welcome that. I like being busy. I don't like much downtime. It's, mm -hmm. it's boring. So <laughs> head coach uh, job is perfect for you. Then I like it. I would it's say good. Yeah, keeping you busy, it, but it's very good. So tell me about the progress that your team has made from last year. They um, they understand that the level of competition we have and in our conference is second to none in, in the United States in Division Two. Um, they're really, really good at our competition is, and they learn really fast what we expect of them and hard work and what maybe they thought was hard work in the beginning wasn't the same. And now they realize how focused they have to be at practice, how hard they have to work at practice, and how they have to balance. They have to be really, really good here with time management. Um, they're in school a whole lot less than they were in high school, but again, it being such a challenge academically, they have to be on top of everything. They have to cross their T's and dot their I's every day because they got behind a little bit. Some of them underestimated the challenge and underestimated, I think, what we expected of them on the playing field, on the golf course, on the driving range at practice. So they, uh, they grew really fast. We kind of threw them to the wolves right out of the gate. And it was tough with six freshmen being away from home, all this new stuff. and challenges but you know that's part of our recruiting the responsibility is recruiting those kids we know can handle that and they did a great job um, adapting them. Okay so there are going to be sophomores this next coming year so yeah. how do you think they can guide the new freshmen and tell me more about those freshmen and what you think they'll be doing. The, the new freshmen coming in are uh, we have six they um, They've traveled a little bit more than what our previous freshmen, as far as high school golf and junior golf, and they have a little different taste of, of balancing a schedule, I guess, if you will, because they play a lot of tournament golf through the school year and then a lot in the summer. So they they have a good grasp on, on time management. And as far as there's times where you have to force yourself to take a break physically from the game, um, and, and mentally, because it can wear you out, you can fatigue fast. So with them coming in now, our sophomores returning, all will be leaders because they went through it. So they will, they were, unfortunately, didn't have any upperclassmen to lean on and give advice and guide them on the challenges here because it was a new program. Now they've been through it, for went through it for a year and have seen it. They know what to expect, there's no surprises. That will help our incoming freshmen um, have people to lean on and be guided by and talk to. They just need to get some things figured out. You know, they're struggling with papers. The, the sophomores can tell them where their writing center is. So 
Okay, so these freshmen, where are they from? Like, what do you know about them? Um, we've got some international students coming. We have uh, Liam Perslow is coming from, from Perth, Australia, and um, Peter Benito is from um, Ontario, Canada. Then we have uh, Andrew Berryhill is coming from California, and uh, Henry Hitt would be our most local coming from Jackson, and um, Andy Grayson is coming from Medina, Ohio and uh, Yoel Piedla is coming from Grand Rapids. So we, we have quite a, an array of students where they're from. Uh, we, don't, we recruit in Michigan a lot, but we tend to get a lot of kids that are out of state, and which it, that, that mirrors, I think, the support and what our student body is like. We have a lot of kids that are from out of state that are here, and a lot of our support for the college is out of state for whatever reasons. Um, so we have a unique group of, of kids coming in that come from all walks of life and upbringing. So yeah, it's really exciting. To think it is. About. It um, is. So when, in regards to this new year coming up, what in your team schedule? What do you think the key events are going to be when you're looking at that? Um, you know, for, for us, probably everyone would say this. They're all very key um, because each tournament is ranked and as important as the next one and the previous one because we get ranking points in our regional on every tournament. So, but as far as measuring tools where we stand this year compared to last year, um, our GLIAC North tournament that starts our season and then the Midwest Regional, those two right out of the gate, we see in the GLIAC, we see it's like a conference preview. We get to see how good the GLIAC is going to be this year, who's gained strength, who's lost strength. And then with the Midwest Regional in Chicago, that's all of our regional teams that we compete against that we need to beat in order to get into the postseason um, to be able to compete for the national championship. They're all there so we can see where we stack up, um, who's gotten better, and who, I was to say, gets worse. But when you lose um, a bunch of upperclassmen as one of our teams in the conference this year, they're losing four seniors for that were in the lineup every week. So they're going to be building period as teams like us that we're getting ahead of steam with our underclassmen getting better and improving. So those two uh, to start to fall are really are important. We're going to see where we're at. Um, I know we'll be better because our players got better in the spring and then the summer and then a, a great recruiting class to, to uh, complement them. Um, I expect us to be really competitive this year. It's going to be an exciting it year. Is. Thank you yeah. so much, Coach, for being here. Best of luck this season. Thank you, Kat. It's been a, a, a pleasure. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching HillsdaleCharters.com. My name is Kat Torres.